are my beautiful Leos and welcome to your daily tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. We are looking into February 17th, the day right after the Leo full moon. You can find the full moon and Leo reading on my channel. So we are looking into Thursday, February 17th. Keep in mind time is fluid and this reading can resonate for my Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This channel is solely for Leo bonus material only. If you're looking for your other normal releases, you can find them on Miss Machiste's Tarot, where your monthlies, your mid-month loves will be, and your weekly readings. Comment down below what kind of bonus material you would like to see on this Leo channel. And thank you very much. I would appreciate that. So... Leo, let's see what's going on for you for February 17th. We're going to look into um, Spirit's message, general message, and love message for today or whenever you're watching this. So, Spirit, this is for Leo. What do we got going on for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we have Eclipse in Capricorn. Card 34, New Direction. And this card says, reevaluate success. So some of you may have Capricorn energy in your chart or around you. It does not have to be. But you are moving in a new direction now with this eclipse in Capricorn. Eclipse energy does indicate change. So you are finally moving in a better direction now. You know, a lot of we have been seeing in your readings, Leo, the paths you have been going down, um, the energies that you have been dealing with haven't been the greatest for you recently and with this new direction opening with this eclipse in Capricorn that is a beautiful sight to see so let's see what astrology card comes for you for today some of you may be moving in a new direction with work with that Capricorn energy coming in or some sort of energy around success or goal of yours so your astrology card is the 12th house escape All right, so the 12th house is ruled by Pisces. So we are stepping into Pisces season as well. So it looks like you are able to escape the path that you have not wanting to be down any longer, which is a pretty good sign. So you are definitely escaping some sort of energy that was no longer serving you, that you were very heavily trying to escape. Um... And now you're finally moving in a new direction. Very nice. Let's see what the signs from Spirit have for today. Spirit, this is for Leo. Some of you may also have... Um, some of you may have Cap Capricorn in your 12th house, if you know your chart. Some of you may also have Pisces energy in your chart. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But you're escaping something that you feel like you wanted to escape for a very long time. And you're finally able to move in a new direction. So let's see what your signs from spirit is. And we have here rainstorm melancholy. That's what you've been trying to escape. The cloud. The black cloud. The rainstorm. That enter ooh, that feeling of melancholy, that deep, deep, deep seated sadness, that deep, deep seated shadow work energy, you know, regrets, mistakes, making wrong moves, feeling like you went down directions that you shouldn't have. That's what I feel. I feel like, you know, a lot of you Leos, you went down some paths. Whenever you went down this path and it looked great. It looked shiny. It looked beautiful. It looked bright. And then you were hit with a big rainstorm. So let's see what else is coming in. We have black. Look, there it is. Lack, rebellion, pessimism. And we have Cupid, love and desire. Ooh. So they are highlighting your love life right now. You are escaping some bad times in love. Real bad times with rainstorm and the color black here. A lot of you have definitely gone through it with a lover, with a person, whomever. Obviously some sort of love situation here. 
clarify this spirit for Leo. For you're moving in a new direction now. Which is wonderful. This is the energy you're escaping. The pessimism. The negativity. The harsh words. The arguments. The conflict. The rainstorms. The black cloud. Clarify this for Leo. On rainstorm, we have violet. Intuitive, spiritual, and self-aware. So beautiful. So through this rainstorm, you are spiritually awakening. That's probably why you have the 12th house with that Pisces energies. Through this rainstorm, through this energy that wasn't so great for you in terms of love. It looks like they're starting with love. So I'll go with love reading first and then we'll do general. So your timestamps will be flipped down there. Um, you're becoming more self-aware. You're becoming more heightened spiritually, more intuitive. So... Technically, the storm wasn't the greatest to be in, but you will find power from it. On this energy of black, we have diamond, promise, beautiful. Some of you may be wearing black right now as well, especially with the diamond card also being black. And on Cupid, we have dove, peace. So you're finding peace in your romantic love life where there hasn't been a lot of peace. This dove card came, comes out all the time, which is definitely showing that you Leos are finally stepping into a lot more peaceful energies, specifically around love. And with that diamond energy coming in once for you again on that black energy, spirit is once again promising you that you will make it through the negativity, that you will make it through... This rainstorm, they are promising you that you will make it through. So let's clarify this spirit once more for Leo. So they are highlighting your love life here. Clarify this for Leo. You are going to be finding peace. On that violet energy, which is purple. Some of you could also be wearing purple. We have pen, creation. Yeah, so this is actually very synchronized with a reading that I recently just did for you where it looked like some sort of triple seven challenge was going to spiritually heighten your creative power. And now they're also reiterating this rainstorm that has occurred in your love life is also making you more spiritual, making you more heightened, making you more in your power of creation. So spirit is really, really, really highlighting the fact that you have gone through something very difficult in your love life situations that you've been trying to escape. And it looks like you're finally going to be able to escape this rainstorm and find power through it. Some of you may start writing your stuff down or already done, started doing that. On this diamond, we have chills, confirmation. And on the dove, we have coins, support. I just said this to you in the Leo full moon reading yesterday that some of you Leos getting through something or standing up for yourself. Remember that horns dominance energy is going to bring you in that green abundance that you had. And now spirit is reiterating coins support. So I said this to you yesterday and we are already in the, we are still in the energy of the full moon and that's what's going to happen with these readings, right? They're dailies, they're weekends, they're in line with the planets. So we are going to get um, repetitive messages because we want to see you working through the energy and spirit is all over you here. Once again, with the chills of confirmation and also um, this coin's support. So it looks like spirit is indicating that the more you find peace in this situation, peace within yourself, um, peace maybe with this person, if that's available, it doesn't have to be. Some of you are just finding peace on your own. You're going to feel a lot more financially supported. There's something that your love life was doing that it was um, directly influencing your money. And I said that yesterday too. And now it's coming in even more specific. So Spirit is giving some of my Leos a round of applause here. Because you are going through the motions of things. And Spirit is um, highly, highly indicating this same powerful message. Let's clarify once more. On the pen, we have the tidal wave, Disturbance. Right on that rainstorm, right? So this also reiterates for you once again. 
Your emotions were definitely hit with a curveball, for sure. Destruction. Disturbance. On the chills, confirmation. We have 111. You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifest. So, Leo, you're definitely getting some sort of pat on the back here. Maybe something happened within the last 24 hours. And you are really showing how... Respected you are. I, I feel like this, like, respected, like, energy where you're kind of just like... Um, whether you respect me or not, I'm going to give you no choice but to... Because I'm not in your energy any longer or I'm escaping from this. A lot of you may have seen ones or will be seeing ones. And on the coins, we have umbrella, shelter. Huh. Leo. I cannot make this up. You start with the rainstorm and you end with the umbrella. What happens when rain comes? You protect yourself with the umbrella. Coming in as shelter. So some of you are receiving extreme support financially because of something that you went through in your love life. It's somehow connected some way. I don't know, but it is. Um, others of you, there may be some sort of energy around money with love, maybe joint finances or something along those lines. Maybe, you know, you connected to the to maybe not the greatest person and now you're trying to escape that. Um, spirit wants you to know that you will be fine. Maybe you need to move out, right? Maybe you have to find a new apartment. Maybe you lived with this person. Spirit is going to make sure you find shelter with this umbrella. Spirit's going to make sure with this coins, you're supported. Some of you, you're going to find coins on the floor in your home or somewhere inside. Um, but spirit is definitely wanting you to take these as signs that they are around you, that they are near you and that they are supporting you. And if you haven't been seeing ones, you're going to start seeing ones. So it looks like you're transitioning beautifully here, Leo. It looks like you're coming out of the rainstorm. You're processing through the difficulties, the pessimistic energy, specifically connected to your love life. And with the triple ones, you are finally stepping into your creative power here with that energy of creation as well. And I feel like a lot of you are going to realize your manifestations are going to come just a lot quicker now that you have escaped this love situation or person or conflict. And you're getting rewarded for that. And that's why... Eclipse in Capricorn is there with new direction. One, one, one. New. Capricorn is the worker of the zodiac signs. Coins. Support. I don't know what's happening here for you in terms of love. The spirit has got your back. You will feel supported. You will find a better place to live. You will have money to make sure that you are taken care of if you had joint finances or if you really relied on the other person. Whatever the case may be, Spirit wants you to step into your power and create what you want next. Because whatever you went through, whatever you have been experiencing with that violet purple energy has only been heightening your power, has only been heightening your ability to create. And you're escaping something that is absolutely in your energy of needing to rid of, whether it's a person, a conflict, a trust issue, a belief system. It could be anything, but they're specifying it that it's around your love life. So there's something that you have, either a belief system, a person, a grudge or resentment, a regret connected to your love life that is holding you back. Like I said, the path you went down with this person or with this experience seemed bright and beautiful until the weather changed. And Spirit wants you to know that you do not have to sit in this rainstorm forever. Umbrella. I can't believe you got the umbrella at the end. 
and you started with a rainstorm. So beautiful. Definitely pay attention to the ones and definitely pay attention to some coins because you're going to find some coins because they're showing you abundant support, money support from this. So beautiful message there for you, Leo. Let's look into your love life now that we're on love. They're indicating love for you. Um, Spirit, please show me for Leo for today in love, February 17th. What's going on for Leo for February 17th in their love lives? What's going on for Leo? We have recognition, we have bound, and we have guide. Yeah. So for some of you, this person that did cause a lot of conflict for you is still very much wanting your attention, is still very much attention seeking your energy. Maybe they still write to you. Maybe they still say things. Maybe you still are still connected. With bound here, this person is very bound to your energy. This would be the devil um, in the uh, energies, which is Capricorn here. Some of you definitely are connecting to a Capricorn. And we have guide here. So there's your spirit guide. There's your... Um, spirit energy coming through saying, Leo, I'm guiding you through this. I'm helping you through this. I'm here. Even if you cannot see me, because it does look like this is a bit of a difficult situation for you in terms of romance, especially dealing with an attention seeking person who may not be the greatest energy, but won't really like leave you alone or something along that lines, or there may just be a very large fear, right? Um, a very large fear, a very large trust issue belief system that you're holding on to that spirit is trying to guide you through clarify this for leo for february 16th 17th gotta, gotta shuffle again i said the wrong day for 17th for february 17th for leo february 17th for love clarify on recognition we have offer on bound, we have vibrations. Look at you vibrating past the energy of feeling codependent or feeling dependent on this person and guide with devotion. All right. So Leo, I definitely do feel like if this is that still that same person, uh, you're just still in a process of, um, Working things out. Maybe your free will wants to move in a new direction with this person. That definitely could be, you know, the rainstorm of the bad cycle between the two of you could be ending, right? I said some of you just need to let go. Maybe it's a person, a belief system, or regret. It doesn't have to be physical. It could be internal. Some of you, it's definitely physically needing to let go of somebody. Um, but it doesn't look like this person has a great time letting go of you here. Um, with Bound to Vibrations, I feel like you're starting to see this person's... Um, obsession to you and others of you this definitely could be a new person coming in and you're going to vibrate past this um toxic like belief system around love and actually give new love a chance because i do feel that for some of you leos i do feel like this could be a totally new person coming in with an offer helping you realize that better energies is available for you out there with vibrations or this could be that same person um, and you're definitely realizing the obsession they have over you here when their offers continuously keep coming in. So let's clarify this here for Leo with the tarot. Clarify their love situation for February 17th. For February 17th for Leo. February 17th for Leo. So we have here Queen of Wands. So you look good. You are absolutely very attractive. Your growth is very attractive. Your dominance is very rich, attractive. You know, setting boundaries, doing what you have to do. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. All right, Leo. So um, there's definitely somebody here interested in coupling up with you here. Here, please clarify this for Leo. On the Queen of Wands, we have the Four of Cups. On the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords. And on the Four of Wands, we have Justice. Yeah. So for a lot of you Leos, um, you definitely may have had to ignore certain people to reap this reward of this newer person. Justice to the Four of Wands. 
Others of you Leos, I definitely do feel like this person feels like they wronged you. Four of Cups, Five of Swords. A lot of you are either just not taking their offers, avoiding them, or ignoring them, or you're just not giving as much as usual. It's definitely going to make this person feel not the greatest about your energy. Um, and I feel like they're going to want to make things right with you more because they can't reach you as well as they were able to before. So I feel like this could be new person coming in or that same energy. Clarify this one more time for Leo. Four of Cups with the Ten of Swords, Five of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles, and the Justice card with the Magician. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So some of you Leos, you definitely had to put an end to someone here. They were never going to be stable for you. They were never going to be consistent. And some of you have a totally better energy that is willing to put the work in and is your good karma for love after escaping somebody else. Others of you, I do feel like your attraction and your power is really causing this person to really want to come your way, really want to offer more and put more work into this connection after maybe, I mean, justice is here. So you do feel wrong by this person. If this is that same person, or you just feel wrong by love in general, you definitely have somebody here willing to put the work in. I feel like it's a new person for some of you, but I do feel like for some of you, it could be that same energy with the five of swords there. Um, they may have given up for a little bit, but they didn't give up forever. And I do feel like they may, um, put in more effort today or around today or show more effort towards you. I don't know if they gave up for a little bit or you just ignored them so heavily, or they actually did pull back for a bit, but they're going to come back around with putting in work in, or there's somebody else here. But I feel like if there's a new person in your energy, I think you've already connected to them. Some of that, some of you, you may connect to this person, but I feel um, if it's that person who is has put you through that rainstorm, I think they are not that great with the fact you are distant from them, and I feel like they're going to try to bridge that gap. Looks like they're working on an offer. Let's see. Clarify the magician here. Clarify the magician for Leo for February 17th for Leo. Empress. Yeah. So you're definitely attracting in somebody to see your value, whether this is a new person. Others of you, this person, because you are so pulled back, because you are ignoring them, because you are not giving how you gave before, they have no choice but to value you more because now they miss what you gave. You know, some people, they don't see what was right in front of them until it's not in front of them any longer. And some of you, this is definitely that situation. Um, in terms of zodiac signs here, I have Libra, I have Taurus, and I have Gemini. You really could be dealing with anybody. But that's what we got in terms for you in love. Let's see what's going on for career and finance and close out your read. Spirit, this is for Leo in terms of career and finances. Spirit for Leo in terms of career and finance. What is going on for my beautiful Leos? February 17th, career and finance. We have the Emperor. We have the moon and we have the sun. All right. Some of you Leos are definitely leveling up. Um, some of you may be becoming your own boss here with the emperor or you are just leveling up positions at work um, for a while with the moon here. It may have been very uncertain. Am I going to level up? Am I going to get this promotion? Am I going to get this raise? Am I going to be able to start my own business? Am I going to be able to take care of myself financially on my own? With the sun here, you're coming to some sort of clarity that you can and that you will and that you are receiving this level up. So let's clarify this for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for the 17th of February for career and finance. On the Emperor, we have the Three of Cups. Beautiful. So there is a need for celebration around your finances. There's definitely some sort of happiness coming in 
here for you in terms of your career on the moon is the page of pentacles. That's what I said for a while it was very uncertain. Am I going to level up? Am I going to get this money? Am I going to reap these rewards? Am I going to be able to have my own business? Am I going to be able to take care of myself? Is this happening for me? The sun is here. There's clarity that this page of pentacles is coming. Page of pentacles for me is very lucky energy and the sun with the two of wands. There you go. You have the clarity and the path forward is clear. And look at him. He's looking right at that page of pentacles. So there was something hidden for you. And what did, I, what did they say? Support, coins, page of pentacles, holding that coin up on the moon of the unknown. Hmm, there's something coming in for you. And it's really going to have a extreme sense of happiness for you with this three of cups. It may be even so good that you want to celebrate it or share it with the people around you. That job you've always wanted, that raise, that promotion. Um, maybe you started a YouTube channel. Maybe you started a TikTok. Maybe you started to get money. Maybe you started your own business. There's something around you that's happening, that's coming in as new, abundant, lucky money that is so happy, that is so good for you, that you want to share it with the people around you. Like, you want to tell everybody. You're like, guys, look what I got. Look at what I made. Look at what I did. Like, and it, as you should, because, you know, you worked hard for it. Or some of you, it was very, very in the shadows and it may have come out of nowhere. Or there was uncertainty around this. Clarify this one more time, Spirit, for Leo in terms of career and finances for February 17. Huh, hold on one second. Actually, I think that's a different. Three of cups, ten of wands. Yeah, so whatever this is, is going to help release a lot of financial burden for you as well. So a lot of my Leos, you may have been feeling pretty financially burdened. You're going to feel a lot better. Page of pentacles with the hanged man. Yes, huge perception change on your money. There's a huge shift happening financially and it's connected to your love life for some reason especially with that moon there two emotions two of wands to the six of swords healing moving forward not feeling stuck not feeling conflicted not knowing where you stand not knowing where you're headed career financially you know where you're headed there is an offer on the table there is a raise there's new money there's something coming in for you and you're gonna feel really good about this here leo it looks awesome i can't believe you got that coin support and then you got the page of pentacles he's the only person in that in the tarot who's holding up a pentacle like that which looks kind of like ooh, look what i found i found this coin on the ground like he's the only one who's holding it like that so that is very interesting that you got that i'm telling you there's something that you're going through in your love life that is directly influencing your finances whether it's joint energies because you have joint banks or whatever that's obviously is going to influence your finances or you're just getting rewarded abundantly financially because of some sort of hurt and pain you were caused emotionally. So spirit is blessing you in the 3D for something that you went through um, internally, which obviously something had to happen to you in the 3D. But still, they're still giving you this wonderful sense of growth and abundance from this. Um, and some of you... It's coming directly as we get closer to Pisces season because we do have the hanged man and we do have Pisces there with the moon. So a very large indication that something very special is um, brewing up towards Pisces season, which starts in like a couple days. So very interesting here for my Leos. So let's see what we got going on. We're going to get you a seven energies oracle to close out your daily. And Leo, I hope you all have a great one, a good one. Stay happy, stay blessed, stay stable. Don't let them, don't let those people phase you. Um, relax when needed. Take a break when needed. Say no when needed. Say yes if you feel your heart's drawn to it. Whatever the case may be, Leo, it's your time to shine. 
So let's see. What do we got going on for Leo? February 17th. Whoa, too many, too many. I got like too many here. Like the whole deck flew out. All right, Spirit, this is for Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, February 17th for my Lions. All right. And we have a card 22, Tender Embrace. All right. Some of you could have been um, born on the 2nd or the 22nd. Let's see what we got here. This card says, put your hand on your heart and breathe deeply, inhaling a sense of gratitude. Now, how do you feel? Keep doing this, tuning into the world around you, others you know, and even those you don't know. Can you feel compassion for them? Compassion is an emotion of tenderness and sensitivity. It's a feeling of, of benevolence, can't even say that, and reverence as you stand witness to the surfacing suffering of the world. Now is the time to reduce that pain and focus on compassion in all areas of your life. Today, do something deliberately kind for another. Even looking at a stranger in the eye and smiling can make a world of difference. The questions to ask are now, where do I need to be kinder and gentler? How can I serve and in what capacity can I be in alignment with the solution to the suffering of the world? Could it be that you need to be more compassionate towards yourself? If you spend all your time in service of others, it's easy to forget about your own needs. When you accept yourself, you can bring more loving energy to others. Today, make a commitment to practice self-compassion. Release yourself from the burdens of perfectionism. Perfectionism. Allow yourself to grace to be human and then do the same for others. It's not your job to tell others how to express themselves, even if you don't like the way the world behaves. Today, be kind for no reason at all and watch miracles arise. Well, Leo, you know, it's time to be kind to yourself. And then, in turn, come to the realization of who deserves your kindness and where to place your energy. So, pretty interesting reading here for you, my beautiful Leos. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to all of y'all very soon. Please not forget to like the video and comment down below what other content you want the bonus channel for Leo to be releasing. Bye now.